Yo, so it appears that the simulation method is back here in MLB The Show 21. It's a decent way to get XP as well as an easy way, sometimes fast way to level up your ball player in MLB 21. I guess we're going for maybe 496 or more likes, maybe 96 or more new subs to the channel today. Comment down below any tips, tricks, or anything like that for XP ball player that you have down in the comment section. Maybe any questions or concerns. Twin Gaming TV on Twitch and Instagram. Twin Gaming YT on Twitter. Links are down in that description. So what I'm going to cover today is just go over everything, talk about known issues, and I'm going to test out a position player as well as a pitcher. But a big known issue I want to talk about is ever since the latest patch, a lot of people have been having trouble with Road to the Show crashing, loading times taking forever, just loading over and over and over, never getting to a screen. So there's issues with Road to the Show and it seems like this new patch brought a lot of issues with it in addition to bringing back the simulation method. So if y'all did not know, you were able to go into a game, which is what I'll show you here, and simulate to the end and have it count towards your ball player program. And then they patched it, but when they patched that, you were still able to simulate to next appearance. And with the most recent patch a couple days ago, actually today, the day that I'm recording this, with that most recent patch... They made it so sim to next appearance doesn't work, but sim to the end does. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it because there's a couple different ways to sim to the end. As far as I know, there's only one way that actually works. So there's going to be a lot of talking in this video. I'm just really trying to make everything as clear as possible and make sure everything is just detailed, clear, and hopefully explained to the best of my ability. So what I'm talking about is your loadouts. I already have a diamond one, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, I'll do the tool shed, right? I don't think we've done this program. Yeah, so we haven't done anything in this program. You guys can see everything's at zero. That should be pretty easy to check. So once you have your loadout selected, again, I'm doing a position player, and then I'm going to test this for pitching. Once you have your loadout selected, you want to go to play and then play next, and then it's going to put you into a game right here. Y'all can see we're batting third. Let's go to play game. We have our loadout selected. I only have one loadout. Some of y'all might have more than one. You want to make sure you have the loadout that you're planning on using selected. And I want to show you guys, okay? So, you can do next appearance in Road to the Show, but that's not what we're focusing on today. That's where you would be able to go for the other two times. This time, from what I've heard, from what I've seen, what I'm testing right now, is you have to go to exit. So, once you're in the game, you want to go to exit and then simulate and exit, okay? It'll bring you to this screen. You just hit the circle button, the B button on Xbox simulate to the rest of the game it should be over and now let's return to the clubhouse let's go ahead and see if that got us any progress towards the program also i want to explain right now too while we're checking that i want to show y'all where the xp where the stubs are coming from okay because some people i don't think understood this in some of my other videos but we go back to our loadout we check the program and y'all can see we have our progress. Now, my guy didn't really do anything that game, but he got the plate appearances. I think he went over something, so he didn't really get any of this stuff. But he did get the plate appearances, and if he got some hits and stuff, it would count too. But as y'all can see, simulating to the end like that does seem to work. Now, with that being said, some programs, you only have hits, extra base hits, stolen bases, stuff like that. For a program like this... I would still recommend for leveling up your ball player the fastest. I would recommend probably just playing on beginner difficulty and hitting as many home runs and extra base hits as possible because when you simulate, your guy's not going to do nearly as well. And with that being said, okay, if you have assists and putouts, if you have assists and putouts, I would say the best positions, in my opinion, are catcher, second base, and shortstop to get those done. But if you have those... Those can be paired with the hits, the extra base hits, played appearances, whatever the other missions are. The best way you want to do that is to go to your settings and then mode specific and turn off fielding opportunities and base running opportunities unless you want to manually do that stuff. But if you have the fielding opportunities turned off and you're playing the at-bats, you're still going to get the progress for the fielding stuff that you did in the game. So that's why I would probably recommend turning those off and still playing the at-bats just because you're going to get a lot more hits and extra base hits than you would if you were simulating. Y'all saw right there my guy didn't do anything, right? He got played appearances, but he didn't get a single hit. So that's why I would probably recommend playing through a program like this. And one thing before we show you guys the other loadouts, the time you get XP, okay, when you're getting XP, why this method is so good for XP 
is because you get it at these stubs. You're not getting XP every game. You're getting it at the stub milestones in the program. So every time I get to one of these stub markers, I'm getting 8,000 XP. And 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, another 8,000 at the end. Plus, we're getting equipment we can sell. Plus, we're getting perks we can sell. And I want to show you guys real quick. We have the Hawk right here in the program. Y'all can see more stubs, more XP, obviously, but also diamond equipment. So that's why progressing your ball player programs is really good for making xp making stubs and getting equipment for your player you can sell all this you can keep it you get stubs you get xp which helps you get rewards packs and stuff towards the inning program so that's why it's a really good method and as y'all can see here this program has assists and put outs uh, i can go ahead and show you guys real quick if you want to since we're showing things right we're at 44 plate appearances okay 18 assists so i can just show you guys real quick if you want to that playing is actually going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and play in that bat. I can show you guys the at bats or maybe the last one if y'all want to see and show you guys that we should be getting some assists, some put outs towards this program right now. All right, so I just finished my at bats and everything. Four for four, three home runs. Y'all can see I did a lot better when I'm actually playing. We're going to return to the clubhouse. I was playing second base that game. So we probably got at least one or two assists, which is the main thing we're focusing on. And this video is just kind of talking about the program in general, but also the new sim method is pretty much the same as before but like i said you really need to make sure you're doing it correctly because i don't think you can go to next appearance and then sim game i think all that stuff kind of th uh, screws it up so i literally did not simulate at all i had the fielding and base running turned off i just went ahead and played every single at bat went four for four we can check the program as y'all can see i got my plate appearances and we also went from 18 to 23 assists in one game so that's why I would recommend turning off the fielding opportunities base running because it's going to make the fielding, the assist putouts go a lot faster by just doing the at bats. And if you're actually playing the at bats, it's going to be really, really good for getting hits and extra base hits. You're going to play a lot better than if you were simulating. So the method we're talking about today and focusing on this video today, like I showed you, is the simulating. And I would really say it's a lot better for pitching. So let me get on a pitcher road to the show and show you why I think that. Also, if y'all did not know, you can have more than one row to the show. Just don't hit X here. You can see more options in the bottom left. You want to click that button and then you can start new or load a save file. I already have a picture made. So actually, I did not have a picture once. We're making one already. And when you start your road to the show after you get drafted, you have to be a two-way player for the first series you do. I get a lot of people asking me, so I figure, hey, I can explain it in this video too. But you have to be a two-way player, at least for the first series, okay? So what I recommend whenever you are leveling up a ball player program, which in my opinion is a really good way to get XP and stubs, I would recommend being not a two-way player focus on the position you want to do whether it's a position player or a pitcher for this one we're focusing on pitcher so it doesn't really matter where i select but this is where you do select your position that you want to play at least at the beginning so we can just do shortstop again i'm going to change that and then let's go ahead skip everything i can kind of walk you through it so what i recommend if you're a pitcher i'm not going to do it right now but if you're a pitcher okay once you sim over here we got to get through this season going ready to go also i want to say Real quick before we finish this conversation, I know I'm a little bit all over the place, but this is a really good XP method for the pitcher because you get the XP from the program while you level up through it. It goes pretty fast as a pitcher, and that's also why it's good for a ball player, but when you're playing the ball player, you're also getting XP for playing. So that's why it still works, and I think it's still a good method to get XP in stubs is playing through those programs because you're still getting XP from playing in addition to the XP that you earn through the program. So either way works, and I just find that simulating, at least in my opinion and my experience, is better for pitcher while playing is better for position player. But as you all can see, back to what I was saying, we are the starting pitcher. So if you're a pitcher, I would recommend playing this game or going into it simulating to the end. But I just want to show you guys where you make it so you're not a two-way player. So we can see here, uh, we're not starting pitching these games, but we'll be playing. So we're going to just sim the season until we have a pop-up, okay? So we'll see a few different things. We're going to have access to the bullpen, of course. Thanks, coach. And then we're going to get another one where it pops up and tells us, I believe, about the batting cages right here. Yeah, so there's the batting cage. So we just want to go through these. Yeah, okay, coach, whatever you say. We can go ahead and skip these things, the little podcast. And then our agent 
calls us and says, hey, how are you feeling about being a two-way player? And for this one, we're focusing on pitching only. If you're a position player, you can choose piss, uh, position play and hitting only. We're doing pitching only. Also, if you do want to be a two-way player, that's where you confirm it. But a lot of people were confused on this in other videos. So it's right at the beginning. After the first series, your agent asks you if you want to be a two-way player. We are saying no. We want to focus on pitching only. And then he says yes. Uh, just to be clear, you want to be a pitcher only, not a two-way player. Exactly. That's exactly what we want to do. And you can choose if you want to be a reliever or a starting pitcher, okay? For the simulation method, you want to be a starting pitcher. That's going to make it go way, way faster. Closing pitcher, not going to be fast at all, but starting pitcher is going to be way, way faster. So we choose that. And then y'all can see here we're scheduled to start. So we're just going to sim to the day before it. We're scheduled to start here. I want to show you guys the program just so we can see that the progress is tracking, okay? We tested it with the hitter. Now we're doing a pitcher. Again, this video is probably a little bit on the longer side. I just really, really, really wanted to make everything clear, explain all my thoughts. So I have one of the pitcher ones selected. There's Filthy. I've already gone up through the professor, but we have Filthy activated. We can see the program. I'm already progressed a little bit in it. You earn XP again at the stub milestones. So whenever we hit the stub milestones, we will be earning the 5,000 XP. Uh, whatever the XP at the end of the program says, that's what you earn at the milestones. So it's like 5,000, 7, 8, 11, or however it goes. And you don't earn XP, at least when you're simulating after every single game. Again, I wanted to make that clear, but we can see I'm at zero for all of this stuff. So we should be seeing some progress after the game. It's going to be the same thing as a position player. And at the end, I'll try to summarize everything that I said because I know I was kind of all over the place. But we're going to go ahead, play our next appearance. We can do a little bit of training. One thing to mention, too, is if you're using your ball player in Diamond Dynasty, you need to get your attributes up to 50. It's extremely important you get them up to their max of 50 because that will make your ball player better for a Diamond Dynasty also in Road to the Show. But we're going into the game, and then we're going to go ahead and simulate to the end. I can just show you guys the full process again. It is the same thing as the position player where you do not want to go to next appearance, okay? Once you're in a game, you press start, and then you go to exit, and then simulate and exit. You can press the back button to make it go a little bit faster through this simulation we can go ahead and see how our player did now that the game's over it's going to take us to this screen five and a third innings four strikeouts seven walks so as y'all can see when you simulate you don't do super well but i think one of the reasons in my opinion simulating is going to be better for a pitcher and not a position player is because if you're a starting pitcher you're getting a lot of innings as y'all can see right here we did hit one of the stub milestones so we did get xp but again you do not get XP after every single game. If you are simulating, it is only at those stub milestones. And the XP you get at those stub milestones will always match the end of the program, whatever you get for that, okay? So right here, it's 5,000. But if you're on a silver, gold, or diamond program, you're going to be getting more than a bronze program. But as y'all can see, we hit the stubs. So we also got the XP. And the simulating to the end worked. We got a lot of this stuff done. And again, just an example of why I think that being a starting pitcher and simulating is best for that. Whereas a position player it's playing is because when you are a starting pitcher, you have repeatable strikeouts and innings pitched. And the innings go super, super fast for the repeatable. And I know it's only two, but those can add up really quickly as you're also earning these at the same time. So for me, in my opinion... I feel like this method is best for being a starting pitcher. However, just in general, leveling up through the ball player programs is a great way to earn XP, great way to earn stubs for both position player and pitcher. And just to summarize everything in the video, right? Like I just said, I think simulating is best if you're going to level up a pitcher. You want to be a starting pitcher. You get XP at the stub milestone markers. In addition to that, you're also getting stubs. You're getting equipment you can sell. You're getting perks you can sell in addition to that XP. So this method is good for XP and stubs. Like I also said in, this, in my summary, I want to say if you're a position player, I feel like it's best to not simulate. I feel like it's going to be best for you if you are going ahead and actually playing the games because 
You can simulate the fielding opportunities. You know, you don't have to play those. You still get assists and put outs, but it's much easier to get hits and extra base hits if you're playing than it is if you are simulating. Your guy's going to suck if you're simulating, so you get the XP from playing, and you also get the XP when you level through the program, and you're also getting equipment, perks, and stubs, and equipment, like I said, and perks you can sell. So this method is not only good for XP, it's also good for stubs. Also, the last thing that I wanted to cover that I forgot to mention in this video, if you are on next gen, you can go to the league tab and then you can assign stadiums to the teams. So for double A, right, we could assign our home one. We could assign it a custom stadium that maybe has max elevation. That's going to be really, really good for you for hitting. If you're playing as a position player, you might want to have a stadium where it's really, really easy to hit home runs. That's probably going to help you on a ton. I know it helped me on a ton. Again, that feature though is next gen only. So if you have stadium creator, it's available. If you don't, it's unavailable, which kind of sucks. But I just wanted to make sure I threw that in the video because people were asking me about that a lot too. So I know this video is a little bit on the longer side. I really hope I made everything clear. This video is just kind of a broad explanation of what I think is a good way to get XP stubs and level up your ball player fast and also pretty easily and also explaining the new simulation method for Road to the Show. It's pretty much the same as before. Again, I try to be as detailed as possible so hopefully people don't have as many questions or troubles as last time. I mentioned it at the beginning. I want to mention it at the end. I'm aware and I th I'm sure SDS is probably aware that there is a lot of issues with Road to the Show crashing, not loading, stuff like that. So if you're having that issue, you're not alone. There's a lot of other people having that. And I just wanted to make sure that I covered everything in this video. Like, comment, subscribe, social medias, all that good stuff in the description. Hopefully I didn't talk too much or too fast. I feel like I probably did talk too much. But like I said, I really wanted to be as clear as possible. So I hope this video helped down at least one person. If it did, I'm happy with it. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.